Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm going to do an update of the low pressure sodium, high pressure sodium and LED street lights that are now on the M20, M69. At the moment we are in three pots which is in Hinkley and the street lights are just starting to turn on. We are approaching the A5, Watling Street, and we're going to join the M69 towards Coventry. When we get on the M69, I will pause for a short time until we get to the new replacement LED street lights, which are replacing the low pressure sodium street lights. Here, on this road, we still have some low pressure sodium street lights. And we also have two of these new LPS colored LED street lights, which we're going under now. However, both of them are turned off. So what I'll do is I'll end this video finishing back here. Right, we're coming up to um, the M69 roundabout. Um, in the UK now, um, we, when roundabouts get too busy, we stick traffic lights on them and it's quite clever because we don't put traffic lights all the way around so some junctions people can just dive on and dive off and others you have to stop. Not that well thought out. I'm not going to edit this video. You'll see it in real time. LED traffic lights. This roundabout is lit with high pressure sodium street lights. And a lot of them don't work. Road signs are lit with LED. And I'll pause the video until we get to the street lights. Okay, we're now approaching the street lights at the end of the M69. All the ones in the centre now. Our LED, apart from one, uh, which is still high pressure sodium. This is underneath the power line and it's one of the street lights that holds down. So obviously they didn't have the equipment to do this one. We have one of our overhead signs working. stay behind this lorry. The slip roads have still got high pressure sodium lamps on. Not many of them work however. And in the centre coming up is the only high pressure sodium street light. Now 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to come off at this junction to loop around a roundabout so we can go under the low pressure sodium street lights which I showed in a video that I did now over two years ago. I think that's the only LED that doesn't work. There's a whole bunch here that aren't working as well. As for the high pressure street lights down this bit, virtually none of them work. Okay. Past the DPD lorry. It's quite a sharp corner this one. You don't want to be going faster than 40 in a HGV round here. So around here we've got high pressure sodium street lighting which mostly don't work and then we've got a couple of LED ones and we've also got some low pressure sodium street lights down here as well which also don't work and these are the last of the twins but they've all failed. So to the right after this sign is the low pressure sodium lamps one before the bridge and three just after. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come up to this junction and I'm going to turn left and then we're going to rejoin the A46 where the working low pressure sodium street lights are. Another roundabout with traffic lights. Call number plate. Hmm. It's a VW Scirocco for anybody who doesn't know. Down this road, only the lights work on this side. Not many of them. on the bridge are where we're going to be going back. sodium street lights which are still here and still working in 2023. Not many of them.
there's five of them on this side and now none of them work. So as I said, back under the LED lights. Um, there's two there not working. I think there's one missing on the bridge, or two missing on the bridge, which is the reason why these aren't working. Another one, not working. sodium lamp under the cable coming up now and somewhere around here was the one that had the missing top now being replaced but unfortunately all pressure sodium street lights in the centre of the M69 have now gone. But these are a nice light. They're a bit of a warm white rather than the, the daylight colour that they're using some places. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to pause this video until we get back to the A5 and then we'll go down the A5 and we'll take a see if we can see the two LPS coloured LED streetlights. Okay, we are approaching the A5. Got a flashing sign. A38 closed after Litchfield. That's miles away. But if you're travelling long distance, uh, it's probably good to know. There's the mile marker. To M1 Junction, 10 miles, 10 minutes. So that means there's a slight delay because if you're doing 70 miles an hour, take 10 minutes, it'll be about 9. Leaving Warwickshire and re-entering Leicestershire. Now, and we're now coming off back to the roundabout on the A5. This part of the A5 still has low pressure sodium street lights on. But as I said at the beginning of this video, the two street lights coming up on the right hand side just after this petrol station are LED. And they're both low pressure sodium colour. I'm going to check some more out a bit further down because there's some more low pressure sodium street lights on this road so I'll just freeze for one more time and I'll see you when we get there so we're coming up to Dodwell's roundabout this road also has high pressure sodium street lights on Two of the lights have recently been replaced with 
LED fixtures and there's also a couple not working down here as well that haven't worked for a long time. The one on the roundabout which you might be able to see just above the red traffic light hasn't even got a top on it. So every time it rains um, the ballast gets wet. But Hinkley is all LED, Nuneaton is mostly LED. But this road that runs between them is still high pressure sodium, except the two street lights on the left hand side now, which again are low pressure sodium coloured LEDs. Interesting. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drive up this road and we'll end this video. If you want any more videos like this, let us know in the comments below. I do know that the M42 near East Midlands Airport still has a lot of low pressure sodium street lights on. But now I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you again soon and thanks again for watching goodbye